ครับสวัสดีครับผมฮักกี้ครับวันนี้เจอเรื่องพิเศษมากนะครับแอนคุณเดียวถามว่าพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหมครับประวัติแขกของเราพูดภาษาไทยไม่ได้นะครับคุณอุโดเรสนะเจ้าของของบริษัท AER the Acoustic People um, AER is uh, as everybody knows the leading world leading Uh, company in acoustic amplification for acoustic instruments and in particular for the guitar and as you have been seen in, during the past I have been using AER equipment during all my tours during all my concerts because the classical guitar as we know whether we play classical music on it or we play other music it is a quiet instrument and if we play in a big hall like some, sometimes on this tour is a uh, up to 3,000 people we cannot just sit and, and, and play the guitar we need proper amplification even though many purely classical guitarists are kind of reject uh, to be amplified but uh, if you want to be heard you have to use amplification if you don't want to be heard you might as well play without <laughs> <laughs> so I have been very happy to use the AER equipment like the uh, compact classic which is a smaller amp and then the followed by the Cube 2 and that the last year, the last two years I have been using the Cube 3 which is a fantastic amplification system and it, uh, it serves any, any hall of any size up to two, three thousand people, no problem. So what was always the feeling using um, those amplification is that the guitar is really amplified and we have been discussing this for a long time and Udo has been thinking, thinking, thinking uh, <laughs> for nearly 10 years now and now for this year's tour, the Haki Agleman tour, Thailand tour 2013 Udo came up right in time with a new solution of amplification something that does not sound amplified, it just makes the guitar sound louder it doesn't sound like there's a guitar which is being amplified, it sounds like the guitar is much, much louder. So when we tried it last night at my house, I, I was wondering, Ngong Mark, hey, where is the sound coming from? I was expecting it to come from this amp here, but it was not coming from the amp, it was coming from my guitar. So I'm quite overwhelmed with the whole new system. And um, today we came here to, the, I, before I continue, I would, would like to say that Udo has produced three types of this new and which are still prototypes, not on the market yet. Uh, the first one can be used only with a pickup. The second one, which is the one I have here, is for pickup system, piezo system, plus microphone. And Udo has produced a new one, which he just introduced at the great biggest guitar festival in Germany, in Iserlohn, which can use only microphones. And that is the one that, for example, David Russell tried it, and he was so overwhelmed that he immediately ordered a piece and some other well-known guitarists in Europe as well. So today we are talking about the second series, which is for microphone and piezo amplification. To use it with a uh, microphone, of course, we need any kind of uh, good microphone, phantom-powered microphone. And for the piezo, we need a good piezo. And again, there are so many on the market, but is it the one you really like to, to fit such a good amplification system? mostly not. So Udo has developed that as well. Uh, brand new piezo system especially for this guitar and he brought it along and today we are uh, guests at a very special person to me at Kun Pan Sang Chantaran Kun's uh, workshop. Kun Pan Sang is for me is one of the really uh, best guitar makers in Thailand and he has been helping me with guitar uh, problems I had all the time and he himself is building really beautiful guitars and he was so kind to let us work at his workshop today and he's uh, assisting us and helping us or Kun Udo to build in this system for me and we will try it out and tomorrow we're gonna go to a bigger hall to try the sound how it really sounds in the end so I would like to introduce to you my old friend and supporter Udo who has been helping with the sound. Without him, I would have ended up without <laughs> a good sound at many places. And I must say, it's such a good company that wherever I went, I played in London or wherever, there's always an amp there and it always works. And it's always a great sound. 
but what he has come up with yesterday just in time for my tour is an unbelievable thing it just blows your mind <laughs> so please wait and see <laughs> that's welcome Kun Udo he will explain you everything about the M and Saladika thank you and uh, thank you Haki for the introduction and hello to all friends and fans in Thailand and I'm very happy to be back um, not only uh, because I like the people and the country very much and uh, I needed a break as well as life in Europe and work is so hard at the moment and I'm really happy to have this opportunity here followed directly after the Iserlohn Guitar Symposium where I met fantastic guitar players like the Agnello Desiderio or David Russell themselves and they were all so, so enlightened and so happy about mm. the new system that I'm very happy that we have the chance here to use it for you two together and, and promote it to the classic scene a little bit more. Um, what I can say in brief terms is not so easy because it's uh, kind of a 10, year of 10 years of serious development time, not continuously for sure, but in steps. And uh, at the end, the, the, the breakthrough really came when I had each and every tiny little uh, step that I needed, equipment piece made by AER to build up a, a sound uh, line, a, um, a line of sound that I could really compose what we have here. Um, definitely it is very, very natural, but it needs a lot of interior specification to really come up with this kind of light and open sound. I have to mention a good old friend from me from Slovakia, Matusz Petrik, who was uh, with me for two days uh, at the final stages where we really checked and tested so much until almost you know blood came <laughs> from our ears. It is so hard yeah. to evaluate properly, but he gave very positive input, especially concerning the speaker system, uh, so that we that I got to a different level at the end of uh, the sound reproduction. But um, the most difficult thing about this is not necessarily only the reproduction, the application is also so difficult. Mm -hmm. And this, to get into the understanding of the real classical tone mm -hmm. is so difficult. It has taken me a lot of years to yes. understand that. Normally classical guitarists, as we all know, uh, purists, they would uh, prefer to be unamplified and in most cases it's possible because they play in smaller rooms and the audiences are not that big so the, the normal good guitar uh, can probably uh, give enough sound to satisfy the audience but if you happen to play in bigger rooms a couple of hundred couple of thousand people then you just have to amplify your instrument and uh, unfortunately as bigger rooms these days mostly are function rooms it is not like yeah. that, that they are especially built for a piece of music. Yeah. When you have a special architecture, then yes, the acoustic instrument may be strong enough. Strong enough yes. But in normal and modern function rooms, that is not really happening. And yeah. then you find that even a classical guitar in combination with a string quartet or with a piano, yeah. uh, it, it yeah. cannot survive. If you play it with other survive. instruments, it's already a problem to uh, amplify it. But then until today, until we had this amp, the drawback was always that it did not sound really natural, it did not really represent the real sound of the instrument. Mm -hmm. So you had a fantastic instrument where the guitar maker has spent so much uh, expertise to get that beautiful, detailed and delicate sound and you, you hooked it up with an instrument it suddenly sounded like a $200 uh, dollar guitar. Mm -hmm. Of course with the AER amp it sounded always like a good guitar but there was still that little thing missing to make it sound natural just like a guitar. just louder don't take away any should not take any way anything away of the natural sound just make the natural sounding guitar louder and i think with the new amp that is possible for the first time yeah and it is uh, definitely a, a mix of approaches that i have been running uh, that i have been following there because as as you may know uh, or not know. Uh, my background is classical guitar actually but I, I moved on to steel string and to finger style and um, AR became famous in especially in combination with finger style players with acoustic guitar, steel string guitar, jazz guitar. Um, my old passion absolutely is nylon string still and over the years I have to say I've come back to nylon string mm -hmm. with more and more and more pleasure and it is by far the more delicate and the more sensitive instrument. Steel string is so common now um, to 
combined steel string with an ambient of let's say reverb and chorus gives kind of an artificial tone which people tend to like very much and they understand this as a natural tone by now. So the problem with amplification is by far smaller. With nylon string guitar that's completely different. If you listen to people like Alvaro Pieri or, or other great guitar players nowadays, the tone that they can develop with these instruments is, is like a painting. Yeah. It is unbelievable what the yeah. colors, the differences, mm. they can be made heard. You never ever find this mm. with a steel string guitar. Yeah. And the construction of the guitar is so much more delicate. It, it deserves so much more attention. Yeah. So an approach to properly to do that needs to understand the whole scenario, the, the psyche of the personnel, the, the, the delicacy of the instrument, the necessities of the the room and the position that they play and you all have to try to put this into a into a genuine concept which is also easy to handle and possibly <laughs> invisible because mm -hmm. most of them really don't like to have the technique around. It took me some time to understand why there is a difference in just approaching it with a microphone in front of the instrument and using let's say a good house system. Mm. And there is fantastic house systems in yeah, some yeah. of the halls. So why not go this way until I finally understood they don't want the house system to be their amplification system because they don't want the sound being away from them. Yeah. They want to feel like the source of the sound. Yeah. So it all starts from the stage. Yeah, the, the player would like to be the center of the sound. Exactly, that's, that's it. Point. Took me some time to get this clear mm. and then they just w e also always want to hear a kind of mix at the position where they are the mix of what they do themselves mm. because that's the utmost of delicacy in tone mm. they are painting while they are sitting yeah. but they want to have the control that this is kind of reaching the audience as well so it has to be a very nice mix what they kind of control by their ear close to them which is strong enough to fill a hall Mm. So it took me some time to get this straight, to get this concept straight and then mm. approach it from there in taking h high quality mm. stuff, for example, high, high quality circuits and modify this to the degree that the instrument is really very pure. So one of the mm. key p facts here with this amplifier is to offer an option for the purest in pure microphone use and we are happy to to use a Sherps or to, to use Neumann microphones. With this amplifier, you can use your personal distance of the, of the source of the mm. microphone to your instrument for your best tone and then just rely on the authentic reproduction of the unit. That's one approach. But on the other hand, I had the great pleasure of meeting the Katona twins um, at this Isolon Guitar mm. Symposium now. A young guitar duo, really fantastic player, absolutely traditionally, classically trained, mm. with a beautiful tone and beautiful painting qualities as well in mm. their interpretation. But at the same time, they are very modern and they like to do something as Rather energetic well. like Tommy Emanuel, for example, mm. and that was a beautiful link. Mm. And for me, to see these both elements happening in a concert, and it was the first time that it was very obvious to me that yes, for the energetic things, for the power stuff, and they had a beautiful version of Bohemian Rhapsody for duo yeah, classic yeah. range, it was really great. And I could really feel how nicely a pickup system fits this kind of presentation but how difficult it is to use the same pickup system to play Boccherini or Bach. Yeah, sure. And it didn't work. Mm. So it was so obvious to me that this system, which offers both sources, which, which pays just and fair to both sources in the best possible way, yeah. is exactly a key thing here. And we are, I'm very happy to hear what you are going to say tomorrow, when, once we have uh, had the pleasure here to install the system in your new guitar. Yes. And we will check it out tomorrow yeah. in a live situation. Well, it's definitely very versatile, as you can hear. You can either choose to have pure microphone sound, the pure sound of your guitar, just slightly amplified by a microphone, or you can go rock and roll and <laughs> uh, use the full power of the Piezo system, which Udo is going to install here today at Kuhn Van Sang's workshop. I will, so I will give you a little abstract of what we have done. We have definitely have a two-way uh, two speaker system here. Yes. We have uh, about 
uh, 100 watts of substantial power. Um, so that is 100 real watts. Yes, real mm -hmm. watts. If I if I bend this a little over, you can see that the operation uh, starts from the right side of the player with the mute and uh, mag and the volume sitting right here, the master volume. We have a little bit of um, equalization option for somebody, but again, most of the time it is set flat because the internal match of all the elements is so nice mm -hmm. that you don't need it. Uh, we have a little bit of a reverb here but if it is necessary mm -hmm. for, um, for uh, giving an ambient. And for sure, we have a line out here as well for the disc possibly, or if you consider an orchestra situation, you could feed a satellite with it to give the sound back to the orchestra, mm. which may not be needed in the real orchestra situation, but in rehearsal situations, that's yes. mandatory, because rehearsals sure. take place in really awkward rooms yes. where there's no acoustic and the guitar player has no chance to hear himself and the orchestra neither. Mm. So I think this is good options that we will definitely come up with concepts for in the future. This is just a starting stone of this. Mm. And if I turn this around, I, and you can see the back side here, the idea is to have all the, the um, level adjustments and all the connectors at the back side so that it's a certain decency, you don't see any cable coming out at any side of the amplifier. We have here two sections, the one section preferably for the, micro uh, for the pickup system. You see here a very special connector. Mm. which is a limo connector. We are working here with multi-pin connectors, very, very small multi-pin, as we have about, f we have six signals from the new pickup system that we have to make use of inside in this internal electronic. And you see here the microphone section for a standard uh, XLR uh, for mm -hmm. phantom pi uh, powered condenser microphones. The internal input here allows a flip around mic that we have under construction as well, a tiny capsule that you can flip around the guitar corpse um, if you uh, want something a little bit closer to you, this mm -hmm. would match here. And the sensitivity and a little bit of a filter here to get the, the grumbling basic noises out of mm -hmm. the signal. Here, very important, and when you walk with this a little bit, you can find that the input gain is not necessarily only the stage where you adjust the electronic power to the whole signal path. This is a very, very important tool also to decide about the responsiveness of the instrument, of the, of the whole system. So mm -hmm. to make you really familiar and feel well with how you play and the reproduction that you get from the system. So what is important to know is that you can't just come with a common lead that you buy in every store and stick it in, it won't work. Uh, the amp comes with a special cable mm -hmm. and special plugs to a uh, lemnos plugs as I would have explained it uh, because it carries so many sensitive signals that a normal lead would not be able to do. Okay, so that's it. It is still very light and pretty small, normal for AR products, portable for sure. And it comes a little bit with the package, as I said, with, as you said, with the cables and adapters that are yeah. needed so you can connect, you are connected to the real world if you like to. But basically, I think we are, we are servicing here two kinds of, to, of, um, of uh, traditions or, or, or let's say uh, groups in this classical field. The one that is really very, very focused on a microphone only uh, reproduction of the tone mm. and the other group that is more maybe more common in the younger generation of classical guitar players who are more er experimental who want to get a little bit more life into mm. the standard classical program that they're playing and they think I think they will very very much appreciate the effort that we put into this very special pickup system great yeah I'm looking very much forward to how it will sound tomorrow. <laughs> um, we will meet again at the BACC uh, theater and try out uh, both, both ways with a microphone and with a pickup and we'll see how it sounds. But I'm pretty sure you'll be <laughs> happy. Okay, and to underline the natural sound of the product, Udo has put it in a nice wooden case this time rather than a plastic case or a 
synthetic case. Well, we never we never made plastic cases, but they <laughs> with the Covered black coat, with the black coat, with the they look like. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks really nice yeah. and natural as well, and it feels good. Looking very much forward to it. Okay, uh, we are now in the workshop here, Kun Ban Sang's workshop, and uh, we have the guitar which I will be using in, the, in this concert tour. It's a guitar by Gerhard Schnabel, for me the best German guitar maker. Beautiful guitar, and I'm looking at it like in an operation table in the hospital and I really hope that nothing will happen to the guitar. <laughs> and I tell Udo to, to uh, send the prayer first before he puts another, uh, one hole in here. We need to, to drill one hole to oh. put in the, the piezo system.
Hi, uh, it's Haki again. After playing at the BACC and testing the amp and playing the concert last night, um, what you just have seen is a part of the concert and it has been through the amp, the new AER acoustic amp, and it has been hooked up to the PA system of the theater. So this is a, an aspect one has to consider very carefully <clears throat> because we have the sound of the amp which is almost 100% natural as the guitar sounds. It is uh, probably never possible to have it 100%, but 99, 99.5% if you use only the amp. <clears throat> that is possible in halls where you have um, maybe two, 300 seats or even up to 500 seats. But if you have a bigger hall, a bigger theater, you need to hook it up to the uh, PA system of the hall or whatever PA system you might like to bring in. So that brings in a new uh, problem to the whole thing. You have to make sure that the PA system is adjusted in a way that it doesn't distort the original sound of the amp. So probably it depends on the audience. If you play for a purely classical guitar audience, you would like to have a very dry, uh, transparent sound. If you play for a more general audience, they would probably like to hear a little bit more of ambience. So it's up to you to, to chuckle around with it. In any case, the sound of the amp is just terrific. And um, I think if you are interested in it, you can get uh, much more information from uh, their website. It is aer-amp.com. aer-amp.com. I'm sure they have a lot of information about the technical side of the amp. For me as an artist, I can only say I'm very, very happy to have a, a piece of amplification that gets as close as it gets in terms of authentic sound for the classical guitar or any acoustic guitar. All right, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Thank you. Kopf und Kopf.